Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Series. And today, well, first of all, Happy New Year. Wanted to talk to you about 2021 goal setting. I know a lot of you have seen the banner that's here on the screen, as I have, that talks about setting your 2021 goals. And hopefully many of you have gone through the Kelly Guide in order to do that. Today, I wanted to talk about the number one area where I receive questions about goal setting, less about the setting and more about the reporting. So I've come into reporting. So this is our reports icon here on the left-hand side, and I've clicked on goals. On this tracker across the top, most agents have no issues with determining how leads are, are you know calculated. I have leads coming into my database. I can either create a lead by creating a contact and marking it as a lead, or my Facebook ads are feeding me leads or things along those lines. Contact's pretty self-explanatory. I think a lot of people know about under contract, right? And then closed units as well. We're putting our opportunity dates inside of under contract and of course then when it closes. But it's these three in the middle that I get a lot of questions about. How is command tracking how many appointments I set, how many I keep, and how many agreements I'm getting signed? Well, that's also all happening inside of opportunities. So I'm gonna take you there and kind of show you a little bit about opportunities and where the data points are for these three items that command is tracking. So if we come into opportunities, I'm just gonna pick uh, one of my test opportunities here, and we're gonna look at Donald Duck. So here is Donald's listing opportunity. Now, if I scroll down on the details portion of this opportunity, you're gonna see some items in here where it says appointment scheduled, appointment date, agreement one. These are the three data points that are being tracked inside of the goals applet. So appointment scheduled, that's not when you scheduled the appointment for, that's the date that you actually scheduled the appointment. So if I schedule appointment today for Friday, well then I would come in, I would edit this opportunity, and I would say that the appointment was scheduled today. That's January 5th. The appointment date though, I'm, I would recommend, this is just me personally, not filling this in until you actually have the appointment. Because how often do we have an appointment set where they don't actually keep the appointment? For some reason they postpone or they hire the other guy or gal or they just decide they're not gonna move, whatever it might be. But my recommendation is don't put this in until you actually get it, uh, you actually hold the appointment. So let's fast forward to Friday, maybe even Monday. The appointment was held on Friday, great. I can now come in and say, yep, the appointment actually was held. It was held on Friday, so now that's January 8th. And we signed paperwork that night. Maybe we didn't, maybe they needed the weekend to think about it. Now it's Monday or Tuesday and we're now signing a pay paperwork. This would be our listing agreement or our buyer's representation agreement or whatever it's called in your state, right? But this is the legal document that says we have the right to work together. Let's say they took the weekend to think about it and they were ready to sign on Monday. Okay, so it's these three dates. Now, if I go into save, right, you can see that these three dates are now listed inside of this opportunity. Now, if we go to goals, I'm not 100% certain that it updates automatically. I think this updates every 24 hours. And yet to, by tomorrow, I should see appointments set go to one, kept go to one, agreements go to one, because I have filled in that information on the opportunity. So it's important that, again, I have a lot of agents that I work with that aren't building out the opportunity until they need to do paperwork. Well, if that's the case, at least go back and fill in, when did you sign the agreement? When was the appointment held? And then if you can remember, and this is oftentimes the most difficult part, when did you actually set the appointment, right? What day did they say, yeah, we're, we're good with meeting, we'll meet next week. So this would be the day they said, yes, they're okay with meeting. Worst case scenario, put appointment set and kept as the same date if you have to. Um, but again, staying up on this is important because sometimes we know that we set an appointment and they know show us. It's still important that we create an opportunity for that person and that we set an appointment for that person so that at the end of the year, we can see the conversion ratios between appointments set and appointments kept. It's also important that we create opportunities for people that don't sign an agreement for us. Why? That's still an appointment kept, right? We set it, we kept it, we just didn't get the right to work with them. I would still build out that opportunity. 
That way you can track how many you set, how many you kept, how many agreements you signed, and what those conversion ratios are, because ultimately our goal is to figure out how many leads do I need to create how many contacts, to create how many appointments set, kept agreements, so on and so forth. And this is where your conversion ratios come in. So that's it for today, guys. Really just focusing on appointments set, appointments kept, and agreements inside of the opportunity details. That's where you put that data in to make sure it gets tracked. Hope everyone is having a great start to 2021. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.